in the season of transition. Right now, if you're following the feed, you obviously know that I'm at the threshold of my release. And part of our ministry here is helping men prepare for their release. We sit down with them and we listen to their game plan, their visions, their aspirations, goals, and dreams for their future of where they believe that the Lord is leading them. And as we sit down, as we listen to them, we first of all take the word of God and seek biblical counsel. But also as well amongst the people of God, we seek godly counsel from the followers of Jesus to help each individual strategize and come up with a game plan for their release. That they would be successful not only attaining the goals and the aspirations, the aspirations and the dreams that they have, but as well that they would live successful lives as law-abiding citizens in society and that they wouldn't come back to prison. But one could look at us, look at me, look at other men a part of this ministry and be thinking, you know, how can a prisoner be ministering or counseling another prisoner about how to get out of prison and help them live successfully back in society when they themselves are in prison and are going through that same process of transitioning. And the reason why I'm sharing that with you today is because even though you may not be able to identify with this, with my, with the other people involved in a specific experience, you as well, I'm sure, struggle with certain things that you feel as if you may not be qualified to minister to or to encourage other people who are going through that same exact struggle that you are. And I understand that because how can we give anyone counsel if we yet as well haven't overcame that? But the reason why I'm saying that today is because I want to remind you and I want you to realize and understand that as we take the word of God and we allow Christ to lead us through the power and presence of his Holy Spirit to minister his truth, it's not you. It's not me who's ministering, it's God. And it's Christ living through us, living through his people, ministering his word, his truth to that situation. So no, it's okay if you're struggling with anger, but you yourself wrestle with anger issues. You can still be used by the Lord to counsel people and to give advice to people who struggle with anger just like you do. And if anything, you actually fit the criteria more to minister to those people because you can relate because you struggle with the same exact thing. So I just wanna encourage you today, don't allow the enemy to make you feel disqualified or incapable to minister to people because they're struggling just like you are. We all struggle, but the reality is, how do you struggle? Do we struggle victoriously? We acknowledge and confess our sin unto the Lord and we repent of it and we learn from our failure and press forward? Or do we struggle in defeat, which we're walking in rebellion? And that is which disqualifies us is whenever we're blatantly turning from the things of God. So be encouraged today and know that Christ can still live through you and minister to you through others, unto others, even though you yourself may be wrestling and experiencing the same difficulty in the area in life. It's your boy E.I. King. Stay committed to his grind.